What is up everyone, Ryan here again, this time coming at you with a look at some of the coolest Android apps out there. Now these are some of my favorite apps that really amaze me every time I use them, and here the focus is going to be on voice and communication. So getting right into it, the first app I'm going to be looking at is Google Voice. This is a great alternative to the default carrier branded voicemail preloaded onto your phone. By logging in with a Google account, which most people have nowadays, you can set up your new missed call greeting and start using visual voicemail. iPhones have this feature built in, and carriers like Verizon charge a monthly fee for those on Android, but Google Voice lets you improve your voicemail for free. Also included is texting and calling, features that I'm not really taking advantage of as they do come at a bit of a price. So that is Google Voice. So moving on, if you would like a voice app that is more conversational like Siri for iOS, but you don't have Jellybean's Google Now feature, Vlingo is the way to go. You can ask specific questions and get immediate in-app responses, whether asking a simple question, When did World War I start and end? Or asking the weather, Vlingo is a pretty cool app that sets itself apart from the more generic Google Voice search. Open Translate So if you are in a very foreign country and need a quick translation or are just working on some Spanish homework, Google Translate is an app that you are going to want to take a look at. With its simple text and voice translations, as well as a conversation mode, Google Translate is an intuitive app to use. About 50 languages are included, and I can't speak to the accuracy of all of them, but being developed by Google, I have to guess that it's pretty right on. So my final app for this video is SwiftKey, and SwiftKey is a great alternative to the default Android keyboard. The keys are better spaced, and the word predictions are better. There are also different skins to choose from, allowing for you to have a keyboard that suits your style. My favorite feature is how SwiftKey can break up chains of words if you miss hitting the spacebar. SwiftKey is $3.99, but it has recently been upgraded for better performance, and there's also a free version you can check out for 30 days before you decide to buy. So that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions on any other Android apps or apps in general, let everyone know in the comments, because we're all interested in downloading as many apps as possible. As always, I thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to talking to you next time. See ya!